Hi! Today, we will continue to analyze the Manwa where the world has changed and dungeons have appeared. Let's remember what our last episode was about. But before we get down to it, I want to ask you to subscribe to this channel. Because 97% of them watch my videos without a subscription. Be my good friend and subscribe to the channel. Thanks, bro. The boy who studies at an ordinary school, as it turned out, is a cool specialist and the biggest professional among the smugglers. He received a task from his boss to get the jelly of the royal wasp from the most dangerous zone. This jelly can cure any disease. The monster was definitely hit by a very powerful blow. This can be understood by the smoke coming from the point of contact. Ren lands on the ground. Ren talks about hitting him in the chin properly. But, the monster opened his eyes again and apparently that won't be enough. Ren takes an object out of his pocket. Before the Titan has time to come to his senses, Ren runs away with a mysterious object in his hands. The monster is preparing an attack for a frontal assault. But the main character assures that he will not succeed and he will die. Ren screams at Jin with all her might to close her eyes. Ren flies swiftly towards the monster's face directs the artifact at the monster and closes his eyes himself. The area begins to fill with an incredible amount of light. From the outside, it looks like a monster is walking into the light at the end of the tunnel. The titan's face gradually dissolves in the light until it completely dissolves in it too. Ren lands again after a successful attack. The monster just screams from the pain he feels after the artifact is applied. Ren regrets that he wiped all the stunning torch. It is a tool that is made from the scales of a luminous fish that lives deep in the sea dungeon. This thing has a huge ability to take down opponents in droves, and once it was loved by countless adventurers, with the incredible power of this weapon, not everyone could handle it. A few adventurers lost their eyesight because of these things. Now this subject is strictly forbidden. Ren attracts the attention of a girl who has not yet fully moved away from the stunning torch. I've already done too much for you. You have to take responsibility for your own life. You have a few seconds to get away from here. It doesn't matter what happens in the dungeons if the adventurer doesn't pay attention. And they won't help to prevent it from becoming. We move on to Ren's flashbacks where the boss tells him that people are like cockroaches. Did you know that the reward for smugglers is very generous the boss asks. If Jin is just messing around, then she will just be trampled on. Ren says goodbye and leaves. But in the jump he turns back, and something very strongly attracts his attention. Jin is running after him, now it's like they're playing catch-up. But still Ren was able to hide, and Jin no longer sees him. I'm sure he was just in front of me before Jin could finish the sentence. Ren attacks her. Are you that stupid? Ren asks. The focus moves a little further away, and we see that he has captured her and asks her what she is doing. Apparently, Ren thinks that she wants to turn him over to the authorities and get a reward for the smuggler. He asks what she's doing. Jean says she would like to thank her savior. Are you kidding me? Do I look like a fool? That's not the only reason I ran after you. I understand perfectly well that you are a smuggler. That's why I want to offer you a job. Confusion appeared on Ren's face. Ren sees the logo on her clothes. With a long sigh, he continues. I'm not going to ignore this for the third time. Ren replies rather rudely that he is not interested in figuring out how much a student of the warrior school sucking on a silver spoon is crazy. I will really bury you if you come across me again. Jean is confused, this is not the kind of dialogue she imagined in her head. The reward for the smugglers is approximately 50 million won, and the reward for poachers is somewhere around 400 million 5,000 won. You're kidding me, Ren says, and turns around in disbelief, and kills blood. You can buy one of these if you catch a man like you, Jin says. This is only the first installment, she continues. If you help me with my exams, I'll pay you the rest. Wow, it's incredible, I thought you were just a spoiled brat. But now, I understand that you are obscenely rich and just completely out of your mind. Does it matter if I'm in my right mind or not? What's really important right now is, and Jin shows his artifact again. She continues, this could be a chance for you to change your life, and, I was thinking about what might happen next, says Ren with a heavy sigh. 
Okay, this is my mistake. There was no real reason to kill you, but says Ren. Jean was scared. She doesn't understand exactly what the conversation is about. What are you talking about? She asks haltingly. I told you before that you only have a few seconds. The Titan has woken up and is flying at great speed at our characters. The blow shakes the earth and turns it into one huge wasteland as if there was no forest there, but this is not the most important thing that we need to respond. But the most important thing is that Ren and Jin were both able to successfully repel this attack. Ren throws his weapon to Jin. She looks at it in amazement and does not understand what to do next. Ren screams that he gave her his weapon for a reason so that she would stare at him. Do you remember the attack you tried to kill him with? So do it again. Wait, but I don't have any mana left for cast abilities, Jin shouts. Well, I'm glad you found out, Ren tells her. Ren does not think that he will last for a long time. He will not be able to resist the Titan for a long time with his bare hands. Jin looks at Ren's weapon in a puzzled way and tries to come up with something. I have one-fourth of my mana reserve. I won't be able to deal enough damage to take out this monster. Instead of hitting, I'm better. I'll just run away on my own. While his attention is occupied by the monster, is ran up to something or suspicious. He turns around completely. His weapon returns to him. The frame switches to an exhausted Jean, who has loaded his weapon with the rest of her magic. Now she thinks how crazy she is. In order to load the weapon with the rest of the magic to the guy who was going to kill her recently, she will definitely not have the strength to escape. Ren spins his weapon and tells Jin that he is disappointed. This is only a quarter of your last attack. But I think that will be quite enough, says Ren. The students of the warrior school have heard this more than once. When there is a battle with a monster, the most important thing is not only brute force, sense of time, and the exact direction of their attacks. In other words, what should adventurers take care of? So it's about everything at once. An incredible combination of two different magics looks great against monsters like this titan. A powerful explosion right at the monster's head from Ren's attack. From such an explosion, some of the monster's teeth crumbled to dust. And from the neck, where the explosion directly occurred, a thick cloud of smoke emanates. Ren's glasses broke in half, but Ren is still very happy that he defeated this monster. Hey bro, I noticed that you like to watch without a subscription. It's time to stop watching videos without a subscription. Let me give you 5 seconds to subscribe. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yeah. Thanks bro. Memories are appearing in front of us again. Only this time it's Jean's memories. Jean runs away from school with her friends. How suddenly her attention is intercepted by another object, intercepted so much that Jin stops. She sees her driver and the car standing humbly and waiting for her at the gate. She says goodbye to her friends and gets into the car. They are driving through the city. The glare of skyscrapers is reflected in her eyes. But she is not attracted to anything as she is attracted to adventurers. She has always respected adventurers more than anyone, and I dreamed of becoming like them. And we see her mentor the elf who says that this is impossible. Her elf blood is very weak. With such success, she can be just a human being, and yet push her to do it instead of convincing her otherwise. I'm not pushing her to do anything. I support her work in science. That's what she wants says Jean's father. It's not written anywhere that the talents of an elf oblige you to become an adventurer, says her father. Well, it's true. It's not so bad for a human, says the mentor, but it's still only slightly above average, even for a human. And let me make it clear to the end. Your daughter is not just a person from an ordinary family. She doesn't want to give up on her own. She's just as stubborn as my sister. She will never reach the rank of monster. But if she keeps trying, she can become decent and this will be enough to attract praise and attention. But your daughter was born with other bonuses, and it doesn't compare to the lack of talent, nobility name and pedigree. All this will make her efforts useless, and people will laugh at her out of envy, and she may remain completely isolated. She won't be able to live with it. But talent is not something that just falls to us from heaven. 
Ren flies down after being kicked by a monster. Jin looks at him with shock on her face and admires him. Along with Ren, the monster falls and a huge cloud of dust rises. Ren moves away from his head. He hears a sound and is distracted by it. It's Jin standing in the distance. It can't be, she says. The same age. Ren abruptly grabs his head and strains from the memories. Be careful and don't break it. It's very expensive, says the boss. Is it very expensive? Ren doesn't understand. It costs about 5,000 won if you go to Daiso. No, the boss answers calmly, and he keeps doing it, stops facial recognition, changes your voice. There are more than four magical abilities, ear. Things are not going very smoothly today. You're a Sambi from my school. Ren replies to Sambi Soya's ass. Give me what you promised, Ren says nervously. But he gets confused when she immediately hands him the artifact. Rich kid says Ren and snatches the artifact from her hands. Hmm, it's not a fake. Ren thinks. You need more money, says Jin. She definitely hooked him with this question. I will understand you even if you don't go to my school. The tuition fees at this school are quite high. Maybe I could pay for. I don't go anywhere. The bewilderment on Jin's face describes the whole situation. You're wrong, says Ren. I don't go to any adventure school. I've never even been through one school. Then who taught you how to fight? Jin asks. No one answers, Ren. I taught myself. What? Jin asks calmly. But still, feelings are overpowering up and emotions can no longer be contained. What kind of nonsense are you talking about? She asks again. Such movements. Timing. You must be kidding me. Ren decided to cool her down so he threw something in her face. What the hell is it? She asks. This is the cover for the pass. Jin takes out a piece of paper from the cover. Donggang High School. You don't have to try to remember, it's just an ordinary human school. Not happening. It doesn't make any sense. Jean was very shocked by this information. Well, now put your hands up. And now you give me something that can confirm your identity. A student card or something else. Says Ren pointing a gun at her Jin serum. You're the same age as me. Well then Ren says but Jin interrupts him. Wait, why did you take my student card? I thought you wanted me to do something for you, says Ren. My identity has been revealed. So I have to take something from your property so that you don't cheat on me. Oh, and I've not done, says Ren. Come closer. Ren grabs her by the shoulder and hugs her to him. What are you doing? Says Jin, proof of complicity instead of a contract. You know that the accomplice of the double bass player will receive the same punishment as the smuggler himself. And at that moment, Jean realized that she was involved in a more dangerous situation than she thought. Jin tries to laugh, but she realizes that it's too late and it's already started. Well then, let's talk about pricing. What exactly do you want me to do? Ren asks. I collected the coins, Jin replies. With a limit of six hours. Collect coins that have been placed throughout the testing area. I have to find a coin box in a certain place and thereby confirm that I am a worthy student. I already have one coin, Jin says, and shows the coin. So I just need to collect even more coins to pass the exam. It's not that far away, says Jin. Where exactly is this, Ren asks. The old ruins of Eugene Mall. Ren is a little shocked by this information. I get it, says Ren Jin, who is at a loss. I realized that we did not meet by chance. Ren continues, then why am I going to, is in Eugene Mall. The Royal Wasp. Otrek Jin. I'm not looking for a Royal Wasp, I'm looking for honey or something like that, Ren replies. Or is it called Royal Jelly? Ren thinks to himself. Whatever it is called, it has a very strong smell that attracts all monsters. Titan also came here, most likely because of this jelly. I don't care, but you said you needed to get there too, right? Are there any other locations with coins? Ren asks. But Jin replies that this is the only location. The other couples had to take everything else, other couples. Ren asks himself. Oh, I get it. I was thinking why is she walking on her own? But it's even better for me that she's the only one who finishes her thought Ren. Let's do this. Find your coins and get out of here alive. This is my mission. 
The price is 950 million, says Jin. Ren is a little shocked by this price. It's all the money I have right now. If that's not enough, I'll just need a little time to. Jean doesn't have time to finish her sentence, and Ren interrupts her. That's enough, says Ren. I'll charge extra if something unexpected happens and I have more work to do. Do you have enough strength to run right now? Ren asks. And they start running through the forest. Jin is a little behind Ren. And he's fast, Jin thinks to himself. Now Ren reasons in his mind that he agreed to the deal too quickly. He could have demanded more. Hey, can I ask you something? Jin shouts from behind. Ask me, Ren says. Did you really study by yourself? Not really. When I was a kid, Ren breaks off the sentence. Something caught his eye. Hey, get ready. Ren shouts. Our heroes came across claws raptors. Jin is slowing down. Friends, I ask you once again to subscribe to my channel. This motivates me to make videos much faster. Well, that's where we'll stop today. See you soon. Goodbye.